very much. Uh, thank you very much for letting me speak. As you can probably tell, I actually have more in common probably with you guys than with these people that are like 97% women. Um, I find it actually kind of weird that uh, all the people who care enough to take a day off from work and everything are women, and yet the whole board of directors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Statistically, that's kind of weird. Uh, the other thing I want to say is that um, the one woman with power, uh, of course, who is here, uh, Ms. Bank, of course, has a six-figure reason to be here. That's uh, right. And I do want to say, I do want to say, uh, Ms. Bank, big fan over here. Big fan. Uh, your style of management, which combines a veil of secrecy along with uh, squashing dissent, I'd say it's it's Gaddafi esque. Um, I hope it works out better for you. It is, it's fascist. Um, I love what you do. I especially love your recent edict, which uh, disallowed the volunteers from getting access to the computer database to the dogs. I don't yes. know if you guys are aware of this. Yes. Uh, what this basically because they don't want uh, face. They were leaking information to Facebook because they don't want to get so many calls uh, about which people who want to adopt dogs. This is actually a genius move, because what it does is enables Julie and her staff uh, to spend their time doing things other than caring about and saving dogs, which I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm sure there's other reasons. Uh, my advice to you, by the way, is as you can see, Facebook is still going strong. Uh, there's still people yeah. finding ways of putting the dogs on. <laughs> my advice would be to call Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Tell him to close Facebook, because obviously, you could be saving a lot of time for shelters and rescues all over the country because everybody's doing it except for us, which I find kind of bizarre. I mean, other places are doing it with great success. I'm not sure why we're not doing it. Whatever. Uh, okay, back to you guys. I, I should say us guys. Um, I know at least one of you guys made your bones on Wall Street, as I, I work on Wall Street too. So I'm a, I'm a numbers guy, I'm a numbers guy. And I was listening with rapt attention at all the numbers being driven around here. But here's the thing, here's the thing that bothers me. How do we trust these numbers when uh, the fact is that we've got dogs being killed who aren't supposed to be killed. Yep. We've got dogs that are killed that rescue groups have holds on. We've got dogs that are being killed that internal memos are saying, don't kill these dogs. If your, if your internal controls are so bad, that you don't even know who you're killing, how do we trust any of the numbers coming out of here? Seriously, I would be happy to discuss this. My phone number is listed, unlike the ACC's. Thank you.